Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, we are going on a little thrifting adventure. Uh, Caitlin has off of school today and we decided to hit up the Goodwill bins. Wish us luck. Hopefully we find some good things and you'll find out at the end of this video. Now that you guys saw I was at the bins, I am going to show you what I got. And I only allotted myself one hour. So we got there, I went through a bunch of the bins that were actually left over from the night before. They brought out one round of bins, I went through that and it was not that great. Uh, it was the first time I can honestly say I didn't find a ton of stuff in a short period of time. Normally my cart is heaping as we were heading out the door to check out or actually headed to um, the checkout. Uh, they were actually bringing out another set of bins and I thought about staying, but I'm like, no, I have so much stuff to get done. So uh, my daughter is on spring break and she wanted to head over there and it was jam packed full of high schoolers and college students all on spring break. Very, very packed. They were looking for more of like the clothing and that's really what my daughter wanted. Um, but yeah, I had a ton of fun though going and I found some good stuff. So let's take a look at what I found. You guys have been following uh, my channel for a while, you'll know that I have a cottage in northern Wisconsin and it is on Lac Vue de Zaire, uh, which is a lake up there. And I found a sweatshirt, you guys. What are the chances? Uh, it says Lac Vue de Zaire and it says Headwaters of the Wisconsin River. And a fun little fact is my husband and I actually were married at the Headwaters of the Wisconsin River, which is just right down the road from our cabin and that's where we were married so it just is so like i saw this and i'm like oh my gosh i have to buy it um it's a little big but that's okay it's perfect for uh, around a campfire at the cottage anytime i can find really nice stationery or like cards i love sending out thank you cards um and i always like to have them available where i don't have to go and spend an arm and a leg uh when i need just one well, it looks like somebody was getting married and it actually had like their invitation on the top. So I'm sure somebody thought these were all invitations, but honestly, it is packed full of all envelopes, which I can definitely use. Um, so the big envelopes and then underneath it actually had all the small envelopes. Um, and then I don't know how many are here, but they're so stinking cute. Um, so they're little like thank you cards and you just fold them in half, which I won't do. Um, but it has like some florals and some birds and you guys, um, you know how much I love birds. So yes, those were all in there. Um, there's actually those and then these as well. So there's two different kinds, one without floral, I'm sorry, one without birds and then one with. Uh, so I thought that was definitely worth picking were these little signs and um, I'm not really sure where they were from or how much they were um, but I thought they were so I think they're cute and they were I mean what like a quarter I don't know so friends gather here um, I ended up getting three of these together as our favorite place to be and then there was just one of these. Um, I am grateful for the things I have included, including the laundry. I want to say I'm, I'm grateful for the laundry. <laughs> but I didn't even read the sign. I just bought it. <sighs> but anyway, so I ended up getting um, six signs. And those will be perfect just to set in my booth. A really nice, uh, quick uh, thing that I can just price. No upcycling required there, but I, I loved it. Um, I also found some vintage buttons in the bottom of the bin, just two of them I grabbed. And there's this one is actually so cool. 
So that one, I think I'm gonna probably keep for myself. I used to work in um, full time on my lunch hours. There was always a couple of little thrift stores really close to where I worked. And one of them would always have bags and bags of vintage buttons. So I have a lot of them. And I made some really cool like button bracelets. Um, I when I used to have a lot more time on my hand, but hands. But now I don't have as much time to sit there and put little buttons on bracelets. And so. he was all decorated up. I took off all his decorations. They even had googly eyes on him. I took that all off. His horn is slightly damaged, so I'm going to fix that up. But I think he would be a perfect project piece uh, for like the holidays or even, yeah, I I'm thinking the holidays. So he's probably gonna go into my holiday decor. And my daughter was like, why on earth would you grab a broken frame? Um, this is like an old barn board. Um, it's all like barn wood. And so it is falling apart, but I have my brad nailer and I am going to just brad nail it all back together. And it's going to be a perfectly great uh, frame. And on the back side, it even is routed where there's like a routed spot where I can actually put a picture in. And I thought, how stinking cute is that? A little pumpkin to stick into a, like a planter or your front yard and very good condition. I'm like, I'm just gonna price this and put it in my booth for fall. No, I'm already planning for fall and I've been begging for spring, but anytime I find pieces like this, I'm always grabbing them. It had like this wording across the front. I pulled that off. My purpose and use of this, I am not a huge fan of hearts, but this is so stinking cute and it reminds me of when um, I have taken like a board and hand drawn a bunch of hearts for Valentine Day, Valentine's Day on it. And this is what that reminds me of and I love it. I think it's so cool. I'm either A, going to take it all apart and then repurpose it differently. Um, I might even paint these all different colors. So uh, definitely watch for this upcycle. It will be on an upcoming video. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself. I, I have a, a vision and I hope that it actually, like my vision comes to fruition, like how I envision it. So, um, but I had to get it because I think it's so, so cool. In the same bin that I found those little signs, I actually found all of these. And again, I don't know where they are actually from, but they're like all like hang tags. And they're all, um, I almost said Halloween. They're all uh, fall. So like thankful, blessed, and pumpkin spice obsessed. Actually, I think these were actually from Shopco, if I, re if I remember that tag. Uh, so I am actually going to jazz these babies up. I kind of like the sayings, how they are not totally fanning over, um, all of this stuff. So I think I'm going to remove that, jazz it up a bit, or maybe just jazz it down. Um, leave it more, a little bit plain, clean them up and then just get them in my booth for fall. I love getting baskets like these. And this one, it says U.S. 1B, 206 US 1BU. I'm not really sure what that means, uh, but I am going to do something really fun with this. And then just, I envision this probably being in my booth uh, for fall. Again, another fall item, but I have a couple of these and I'm going to upcycle them, get them in my booth for fall, and they are gonna be ready uh, probably, or maybe at my October event. I should mention my October event, you guys. So October 3rd, 4th, and 5th, I will be hosting my own fall event. So last year, you guys, I got ready for Cranberry Fest and I brought you along that whole process. Well, Cranberry Fest was kind of a bust. Um, I shouldn't say a bust. It, I made money, you guys, I did. It just was a very big eye opener that I put so much um, hard work into it. 
Uh, and then I had to like haul all my items by hand to my booth. It was just a lot of extra work. And this year at my event, um, it is going to coincide with the vintage shop hop in fall. So that weekend, and it's going to be a two part event. So I will have uh, vendors at my event and it's going to be held at my good friend Wendy's barn called Antique Acres. And at the event, the barn is going to be uh, full of vendors. So I will be on the vintage shop hop map. I have to do that next. Um, I'm checking things off my list as I'm planning for it. And then the other part of the event is there will be tickets available to purchase to be part of um, it's going to be a series of workshops. So it's going to be pretty darn awesome. I have some amazing creators coming. And as I finalize the last few on my list, I will have um, a page out on my website with all the details. But we will be hosting a VIP night. So on Thursday, uh, it will be a VIP, well, like kind of like an afternoon into the evening. And on that VIP night or that VIP day, you will get to uh, meet all the creators that I'm inviting. And then you will also be able to do early bird shopping to all the vendors. Uh, I will be hosting a barn quilt workshop and then we'll have hors d'oeuvres and all that good stuff. So that is gonna happen on Thursday. Uh, Friday and Saturday, then all day long, we are it will be like a series of workshops hosted by the different creators that I'm inviting. And we're going to show you guys all kinds of amazing DIY techniques and you get to make your own projects and do those techniques. Um, for example, Connie from The Painted Photographer, she is going to teach everyone how to hand draw a pumpkin or how to, you know, draw out a pumpkin and then paint a pumpkin with DIY paint. And she taught me how to paint a, um, not a pumpkin. She taught me how to paint a bunny. She can teach you guys how to paint a pumpkin. So I'm super excited uh, for that. Um, there are a bunch of creators coming and I cannot wait to get the information out there for you guys so that you can get signed up and have it marked on your calendars. Uh, but even if you don't want to partake in the workshops, the vendors are going to be there and I will have demos going all day long, like little mini demos showcasing how to use a lot of the products if you have questions. So it's going to be a great event. So mark it on your calendars, guys. All right. So this might be at my fall event uh, is basically in a nutshell what I was trying to say. I love old uh, coffee pots like this and this one had a lid. I was so excited. Um, it didn't have anything else so I just grabbed this. Last year I decoupaged a whole bunch of really amazing um, images from Royce's papers on these uh, old vintage pots. They went over so well so I'm probably going to do something very similar with this one. It actually says Beth Ann. So this was some ones and I grabbed it. I just couldn't let it I just could not let it go. So I thought that was very just some, I don't know. I'm very sentimental when it comes to things like that. I just can't believe somebody got rid of this. Um, but I'm not really sure yet what I plan on doing with it. I just grabbed it. So. I thought this was really neat. This is an old bed spring and I used to, um, sell, um, air plants and I would have take old bed springs and I would put air plants in here. And I thought this was the perfect display. So this looks like it must be like an old, uh, like a post from uh, like a fence. And this will be perfect for something, whether it be an air plant or something else I can put in here. I just thought it was kind of fun and maybe I will upcycle it a little bit differently. This metal star, I think it's actually for a candle. Uh, and it had some, it must be like little protectors, a little feet on here to protect it. But I saw it and I just thought it was so rustic and cool looking. I could not pass it up. Who loves a good basket? Me. I do. And I love this handle, you guys. It's like a, an old stick that they found and it was all, I just love it. I like how knotty it is. And then they took another piece of 
um, the weave basket and wrapped it around the handle. It's in really great condition. I loved it. This one's for me. Uh, it does say USA 509 and I don't know what, something, Frila Benny maybe or Benji, Benji. I'm not really sure, but I collect all vintage vases. I really prefer McCoy, but anytime I can find a vase or a pot, um, I'm grabbing it. Uh, so this was, I think when he weighed it, it was like $2. So I paid like two bucks for it. It was definitely worth it. I loved it and it is going into my collection. This was just lying in the bottom of a bin and I opened it up and I thought, wow, the inside is so cool. And then I saw a tag on it and it says vintage brown handbag, $16. So it looks like somebody else had this in um, their booth at one point. So I think it looks pretty cool. So I am going to test this out and see if I can sell it in my booth. I love all different galvanized containers and these I think I might be using in um, my, probably like my studio. They're from, uh, they're Better Homes and Gardens. So I'm thinking that they were from like Walmart in that section, I think that they were really intended for, uh, they have a hole in the bottom, so plants, uh, but I'm going to use them most likely to house something to, to be organized. This is really kind of cool. It's metal. It's like a, a really inexpensive metal, but it is raised and it has a flower in the center. I think what I'm going to do is I I was kind of sad that they punched holes in it, but that's okay because I think I can still work with it. I am going to possibly either leave this creamy white like that with the silver popping through and then put a different image on here and just do something fun with it. It's like an old tin tile is what it is. So I thought it was really cool and I figured probably for like pennies, I can definitely do an upcycle with this. I found a different one like this and I thought this was really fun. Uh, I'm not really sure yet what I wanna do with it, but I like all things galvanized and I like how it had the little hole and you can probably put like bills in here or something. I thought even like um, stamping a word on here, um, like in the comments, let me know, what do you think I should do with this? Uh, stamp a word or leave as is. I just thought it was really fun and I, I'm like, I'm grabbing it. I can do something really fun with it. Anytime I find enamelware, I'm always grabbing it. So I loved how this had a little bit of rust on it. It was all dinged up. I can definitely come up with an upcycle for this. This I think was my favorite find. I know it's, it's kind of odd. It's a, a metal or like a galvanized container. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I really don't. But I saw the galvanized container and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I love the shape. I like how tall it is. It's in really good, you know, just really good shape. Put it in my cart. I'm digging through another bin and I find this. And I'm like, is that the top for my metal container? And sure enough, it is. So I found the top for it as well. Um, if you guys know what this is, like, is it intended for something? At first I thought maybe a mailbox, but there's really no hinges. It does not say mail. I really think that there's a lot of possibilities that I can do with this. Today, I think my favorite word is fun. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone is gonna have, I would have definitely pointed that out today, but I think I've said fun far too many times. Uh, but I'm excited to do an upcycle on this and bring you guys along. Do you guys remember when I had this basket uh, a while ago and I actually upcycled the top? I put the chickens on here and this is a totally different basket. I found the exact same picnic basket though. It's in great condition, just like the other one. And I am going to do a very similar upcycle. I'm gonna put something on the top and I'm not sure what, uh, probably something different than the chickens because last time I did the chickens, but uh, I'm excited to upcycle this and get it going uh, and get it in my booth. This caught my eye because of the um, 
the actual spindle, you guys. Uh, it is so cool. It is all cracked. It's so neat, actually. And somebody actually put these letters on here and it says Frosty. Frosty. I don't know if Frosty was on here somehow, but uh, they put it in a rummage for $2. And I am probably going to take off the letters and do something completely different with it. Uh, like I said, I really love the look of the spindle and that's what caught my eye and I grabbed it for just the spindle. I have upcycled a couple of these little footstools and I'm gonna wash it up, um, step up, I'll help you work and play or sit and rest during a busy day. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do with this one is uh, IOD has a paint inlay and I am slightly obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna use the paint inlay on here. I'm gonna put um, the inlay across uh, each of these pieces. I think it will look so good and uh, definitely update this. I probably will sand off the wording so it doesn't come through, but I'm, I cannot wait to show you guys what I do with this. I loved this frame. Uh, you guys know how much I love frames. Um, this was, it looks like it was from Hobby Lobby. The price was taken off. It's really, uh, looks like it was meant to be a chalkboard. I am going to, I think someone put all this like silver stuff on it, but I'm going to paint it. I am going to do something completely different with it. And, um, it will be a really amazing, uh, upcycle. Uh, lastly, I found this frame and you guys, is this not so cool? It's huge. It is like super huge. I loved it. I think what I'm going to do is use the IOD molds and I am going to put um, molds around it like I did for my door. A couple of those I added molds to and I think they look so cool. Um, but I, I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with this yet, but definitely add molds to it and probably put something in this frame. I cannot pass up a good frame, you guys. I can't leave it behind. It's like, it screams my name. It's like, don't leave me behind, Sonnet. <laughs> I don't know. I am slightly obsessed with frames lately, or for a while I have been. Um, but I really needed this, you guys. I needed to just get my thrift on, and I have been so busy doing so many things. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, it just, I definitely needed to get more, just to get out into the thrift store and dig. And I probably should have stayed a little bit longer than an hour. I was really strict with myself today. Um, but it's what I needed. So, um, I'm going to be, um, this baby is going to be in my Thursday video. So normally I put a video out on Friday. I am putting my video out a day early and this is this upcycle right here is going to be in that video and it's going to feature all of the new DIY paints, you guys. I am so excited to be part of that collaboration. Um, and there's gonna be a playlist so many amazing creators also showcasing all the new colors. So I cannot wait to show you that. I can't wait to show you what color I painted. I've already sanded down the top. Um, if you saw a reel a while ago, I had picked it out of the garbage. My dear mother found it for me and she called and said, I have, it's kind of like a, a buffet. And she's like, I'm standing here, just come as fast as you can. We loaded it in my truck and brought it home. The first thing I did is I sanded it down the top. So you're gonna see what I do with the top and then what color I paint it. And I have a few more projects um, to be part of that whole entire video as well. All right, guys, um, it has been a great relaxing day. Uh, now on to pricing all of this and get it in all the, uh, different totes because I have everything like marked for fall, winter, you know, however. Um, so I have to get all organized and then we will see you guys tonight at six o'clock for my live. Some of these might make a debut in there. All right. Have a great week and we will see you on Thursday. Bye.